Hi, welcome to Learning with Israr and today our topic is uh, ABC Analysis in Inventory Management. So let's see what it is and how does it work in uh, uh, controlling or managing our inventory. Before discussing the ABC Analysis, let's see what Inventory Management is. As a part of our supply chain, Inventory Management includes aspects such as controlling and overseeing purchases from supplier as well as customers and maintaining the storage of stock and inventory controlling the amount of product for sale and order fulfillment so these are the few of the functions we do uh, while uh, managing our inventory so naturally companies precise inventory management meanings will vary uh, based on the types of products we sell or the channels uh, uh, the, these businesses are using but as long as those basic ingredients are present we will be uh, working on a solid foundation to build upon our inventory management system these are the few of the inventory management techniques which we should know and uh, one of them is ABC analysis others are just in time uh, economic order quantity, minimum order quantities, drop shipment, consignment and first on, in and first out. So let's talk today about ABC analysis in inventory management. So ABC analysis in which we uh, divide or uh, separate our uh, uh, inventory in three parts, three segments. The first one is the most expensive inventory. Uh, which needs accurate control and then moderate value inventory moderate control required and then low cost inventory which needs minimum control required so basically the first step is that we are dividing our inventory into three major parts according to their requirements or value or the need as I mentioned earlier ABC analysis is an inventory management technique that determines the value of the inventory items based on their importance to the business. So what is how they are valued according to the importance of our business. So basically they are ranking the items uh, based on demand, cost and the risk data. And inventory managers group uh, items into the classes based on these criteria. Uh, this helps business leaders understand which product or services are most uh, critical to the financial success of their organization. So basically it is a division of our inventory according to their demand cost or the risk or the value. So we will emphasis more on the higher value uh, inventory. So the first step like I explained to you is the classification or categorization of our inventory. So most important stock keeping units case, SKUs based on either uh, sale volume or profitability are class A items, the next most important are class B and the least important are class C. Some companies may choose a classification system that breaks per products into more than just those three groups. So you can add as many as you want to for better control and uh, better managing your inventory. These are some benchmark or the you know values on which you can uh, Base your we can categorize our uh, our inventory. So like item A, uh, class A items are percentage of items are like five to twenty five percent. Percentage of overall value is like forty to eighty percent. Even and then B is like twenty to forty and fifteen to forty percent of the overall value. And the uh, custom and the and the third C is the like forty to seventy five percentage of the items but the value is only 5 to 20 percent so this is the way you can see your inventory or you can segregate or you can uh, seg uh, divide your inventory okay this is another way of doing that uh, class make, make your about classification about on the sale so if you, like 70 percent of sale of your sale is you know but item is like 5 percent and then uh, B is like 10% of the items but sales like 10% and the C is like 65 and the 20% so you can go beyond uh, also C like I explained to you before so uh, as you can customize your um, uh, ABC analysis according to your requirements 
so how is abc inventory analysis is calculated is conduct abc inventory analysis by multiplying the annual sales of a certain item by its cost the results uh, tell you which goods are high priority and which yields as a low profit so you know where to focus human and capital resources use this formula for abc inventory analysis like annual number of items sold multiply by the cost per unit and it's become your annual usage value per product so you can use microsoft excel to do a basic abc's inventory analysis so your uh, excel sheet will be look like this that your then stock unit then average amount per unit then uh, your sales unit i mean price per unit and then total and then percentage from your of your total sales and then cumulative so let's see first two products of your 90% of your sales that is class a then the next is like 8% and then is next is like 2% so this way uh, you can divide your inventory uh, like this so this is one of the methodology you can use to do that so as i as i told you in the beginning that different uh, uh, businesses use different methods uh, apply different methods to abc analysis and calculation so like almost every type of business can benefit from abc analysis companies worldwide use the method to improve processes and increase profitability so how can businesses in various industry imply this uh, uh, this analysis as uh, like retail in retailer they use the profitability uh, in uh, automotive uh, industry they need highest performance equipment uh, then uh, warehousing you need the higher value inventory and the manufacturing you need the uh, higher uh, revenue so this is the way you can classify your inventory while you are calculating and doing abc analysis so this was like basic of abc analysis you know and i hope you understand basically it is dividing or you know your uh, inventory according to its value its according to revenue or profit so you can emphasize more on that those uh, uh, things and make your save your resources and uh, put your resources uh, capital resources and human resources where they are where they are working best so i hope you understand if you have any question please let me know so i will appreciate your listening thank you